How's it going guys? Welcome back to my Ranking Skyrim Things series. Today we're going to be ranking every destruction spell in the game. As I say in the beginning of all of these videos, the insp one of the inspirations I got for this series was Typical Pirate, who did these videos before me, so uh, make sure you guys do check him out. Credit where credit is due. If you want to see more videos like this, he, I think, has made plenty. So you can check him out, link in the description. But let's get started. All right, so novice destruction spells we have. Uh, well, okay, before we begin, I'm just gonna state that there's three types of destruction spell. Flame, Frostbite, and Shock. Um, it's basically, the, the idea is the fire spells do lots of damage, and then they set enemies on fire, which does more damage. They're the cheapest. Then the second cheapest is the Frost ones which do uh, damage to health and stamina, and they slow down your enemies. And then you have the shock ones, which are the most expensive, which do damage to HP and magicka. So that's the idea. For novice, we have flames. This is a great spell, actually. Um, I find even when you're at the levels to use, like, apprentice ones, this still holds up uh, very well, especially if you spam it rather than holding it down and you dual cast. It's very great. It's very cheap. There's lots of damage. Uh, I'm gonna have to give flames a solid 8 out of 10 just for its insane uh, versatility and just the fact you get it straight off the rip. Frostbite, I'm gonna have to give a 7 out of 10. I, in my opinion, Frost is the weakest out of the three um, because most... Okay, well, first of all, every Nord in the game has 50% frost resistance, which most bandits are Nords. Every Draugr is an undead Nord, so every Draugr is 50% resistant, and every Vampire is 50% resistant as well. So, like, so many tough enemies are resistant to frost, so... I'm always gonna have to say that frost spells are just lower on the list. Frostbite, I'm gonna have to say it's fucking badass, honestly, but it's not very useful. I would never use frostbite over flames, so I'm gonna have to say it's probably a 5 out of 10, honestly. Sparks is, an, is, a, is also a 5 out of 10. Um, I would never use it over flames. I mean, it's good for me. I, I was gonna say it's good for mages, but it's not. Like, 8 points of damage to, to magicka a second, like... You're not, you're not really going to be draining their magicka any faster than, than their HP. So it's like, it's not even really necessarily effective. You may as well just go all out on the offensive, rather than trying to be strategic about it. Next up we have Vampiric Drain, which is an interesting one, as it depends upon the level of vampirism you have. So if you don't know, uh, the longer you go without feeding on a human as a vampire, the more blood-starved you become. If you're not blood-starved at all, you absorb 2 HP a second with this spell, and it costs 6 magicka. But if you're at the maximum um, blood-starved, you can absorb 5 points of HP from an enemy, and it costs 17 a second. Um, I think it's so, so cool that you can use it. I just wish... That the vampiric spells were a bit better because like this is the only one i to my knowledge and it sucks hot donkey cum like absorbing health is cool as not only are you damaging them but you're healing yourself but five points is nothing right like it's, it's not like you're healing yourself much and you're not damaging them much either so it just seems like a very ineffective way of killing it's good for role playing but it's just ineffective all right moving on to apprentice we have fireboards which does 25 points of damage to an enemy um I'm. I wouldn't. I don't. I don't usually use Firebolt much. Um. I think Firebolt is the best out of the apprentice ones. I would have to put this at a nice seven out of ten. Eh, eight. I put that an eight out of ten. Firebolt is the best one out of the apprentice ones, as it does damage and more damage, and it's the cheapest. At this stage of progression, I find that I desperately need cheap spells, as you have very low magicka at this stage in the game. And things are already starting to cost pretty high amounts. So, Fireboard is cheap, so I use it much more often. Next up we have uh, Freeze, which is a Dragonborn spell. A spike of ice that does 20 damage of thrust to health and stamina, and slows the target for 15 seconds. This is actually cheaper than Fireboard, um, but it's a Dragonborn one. I believe you can only get it from Neloth, to my knowledge. I've actually, no I, I didn't even know this existed, so that's why I didn't uh, include it previously, but, I mean, fuck, that actually does sound good, like, it slows them for 15 seconds, like, that's really good, um, I'm gonna have to put this above Fireboard, actually, I mean, I'm putting this at an 8 out of 10, next is Ice Spike, 
which is the vanilla equivalent of Firebolt. 25 points of damage to health and stamina. Mm, uh, for a 3 out of 10. I never use Ice Spike. I think Ice Spike is such a bad spell. Um, just because, like, why would you need to, to damage stamina so badly? And again, everything is so resistant to it. Yeah, it's, it's a 3 out of 10. And next is another Dragonborn spell, Ignite, which is interesting. A blast of flame that sets targets on fire, doing 4 damage per second for 15 seconds. I'm pretty sure it stacks, too. So if you use this 3 times, they're gonna be taking 12 damage a second until they run out. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't had much experience with it, but it costs 30 magicka, and I, I mean, I don't know. It's not, it, it's not that great. It's definitely interesting. Um, if you want, if you're doing like a combat mage, like more of like a half mage, half warrior, then this could probably be good actually, because you don't have to have as much investment into magicka to use like the more costly spells, but it does give you like a nice um, advantage in a fight. So I'm gonna have to say six out of ten for ignite. Next is the lightning bolt. It's the same thing as fire bolt, but instead of you know just doing damage, it also does magicka damage. Twenty five points to be exact. It's 51 Magicka as opposed to Fireball, it's 41. I mean, I just couldn't use it. It's just so much, you know? It really, at this stage in the game, again, you're not fighting mages that are that powerful anyways. I'm gonna have to put this below Ice Spike. It's honestly a 2 out of 10 to me. Alright, so shockingly, uh, Frost, Fire, and Lightning Rune are actually Apprentice, despite being unreasonably expensive. They should be Adept in my opinion, but for some reason they're just not. They cost 234, 293, and 323 respectively. And when you place it on the ground, it's basically a booby trap that an enemy will walk into and take 50 points of damage for its respective um, element. Um, all of these, I'm gonna give a zero out of ten. That's that might seem harsh, but they're so expensive they do not a, they don't they don't even do a proportionate amount of damage to the expensiveness that they cost. Like, like, it's not like, it's like, okay, listen, in Skyrim, when you go dungeon crawling or you go questing, you are infiltrating the dungeon or the base. You're not laying traps. You're the one who's, like, advancing through the dungeon, killing people. It's not like you're gonna leave your trap behind you. Like, no one's coming from behind you. And 50 points of damage, two fireboards costs 80, 82 magicka, and it does 50 damage, when a fire rune costs almost three times that much. Actually, I think it is exactly three times as much to do that same damage. Fire rune, useless. Never use them. All three of these runes, zero out of- negative one out of ten. If you use these, you're actually a bot. Who uses these runes? If you do it, leave a comment down below so I can, uh, report your channel to the FBI. <laughs> Next up, we have Adept spells. So we have Chain Lightning, Fireball, and Ice Storm. Now these three is where the um, spells actually diverge and become unique. So it's not just as black and white as, oh, fire does damage and lightning does magicka. They actually have unique abilities now. Chain Lightning, the most expensive of the three, uh, does 40 damage to health and half as much to magicka. So still not much damage to magicka, but still some. When you hit something, it will leap to a new target if something's close by. So it actually does more damage to the thing that's next to it. So if you have two bandits side by side, you hit one of them. Uh, I believe there's a chance. I don't believe it's a 100% chance, but there's a high chance that it will uh, hit both of them, uh, doing a lot of damage. So you can effectively kill two or even three enemies for the cost of one. I think that's phenomenal. However, it doesn't always connect. It doesn't always leap. And, um, it is extremely expensive, and you, you're, not, you're not always in situations where you would even need it anyways to leap. However, all of that being said, Chain Lightning is my preferred spell in the Adept section, so I'm, I'm gonna have to give it a 9, a 9 out of 10, like, it's amazing. Next up is Fireball. I actually deeply hate this spell, I deeply hate it. Um, fireball uh, <laughs> creates a explosion, an exploding fireball that does 40 points of damage in a 15-foot radius of any target that it hits. 
Um, and the reason I hate it is because the shockwave it causes will cause loot and any items in the room to go flying, which is really annoying because I don't want to run around looking like Velma looking for her glasses just to find my loot. I want it to be nicely right there laid out on the table for me to pick up, you know what I mean? And also, it's incredibly loud, which just bugs the shit out of me. I want to hear what I'm- I want to hear things when I'm in a combat situation. Audio is important, right? Like, if someone's sneaking up behind me, or right next to me, I, I, I want to be able to know it before they hit me, you know what I mean? Uh, Fireball, I don't want to be so harsh to give it a 0 out of 10, but it's definitely like a 2. I would never use it, despite the fact that it's the cheapest of the 3, I just would never use it, it's very bad. Um, yeah, 2 out of 10. Ice Storm is a great one also. A freezing whirlwind that does 40 points of damage per second to health and stamina, and the radius is increased if you have the augmented frost um, stuff, by the way. So, the interesting thing about this is... It says 40 damage per second because it, it travels very slowly towards enemies and that leaves a, tr a like a trail behind it that does plenty of damage. So, I mean, I would say this is this is also very good. It makes it hard to see what's going on, um, but it's very crippling to most enemies. I think it also staggers them pretty decently too. So if you have like a hallway, this is very good because it makes like it basically impossible for them to get to you. Uh, Ice Storm, 7 out of 10. Very good, but you know, the negative that comes with it being frost does drag it down a decent bit. So next up we have the four cloaks of Skyrim. Each element has a cloak. Um, if you've played as a dark elf and you used Ancestor Wrath, then you kind of understand what it is. It's a flame cloak, frost cloak, and lightning cloak. All of them are the exact same. They do 8 damage to health of anything that's within melee range of you. However, Frost Cloak does a little bit more to stamina and, and lightning to magicka, of course. Um, these three, they cost a lot, and I just find that 8 points of damage to health a second is not much. Especially if you're fighting really anything that's beyond a level 1 Drago. Like, they're not, they're not really going to feel the impact of the spell. And even if they do, like, you do way more damage a second than 8 that you might not even notice it having an effect. That being said, it is minimally useful, and it's badass. So I'm gonna have to give each of them a 6 out of 10, um, just to put it bluntly, especially for the amount of magic they cost, like goddamn. And the fourth cloak is Whirlwind Cloak, which I believe is a Dragonborn spell. For 60 seconds, opponents within melee range have a chance to be flung away from you. So th there's a shout in the Dragonborn DLC called, um, I, uh, crap, I, I'm blanking, I forget what it's called. But it basically, like, it flings enemies up in the air. Uh, it, ba it, it basically does what it describes, it's like a whirlwind. I find this to be very fun, very useful, and it obviously staggers them. So it's like, you get a massive advantage on them. Uh, I mean, whirlwind cloak is niche, I don't use it much, but I'm gonna have to say it's a 7, 7.5 out of 10. It's not a 7, but it's not an 8. 7.5 out of 10. Right, we're getting close to the end. Expert level spells. Um, this is where things kind of come back, they stop being unique. Icy Spear is literally the exact same thing as Ice Spike, but instead of doing 25 damage, it does 60, and it costs a million Magicka. Uh, I mean, if you must use it, then fine. I just, I, I, I mean, listen, not to be rude, I just hate, I'm, I'm just a Frost hater. I'm just gonna rank all of the Frost ones very poorly, cause, just, just because, like, the utility of them is so, like... I just feel like it's only useful 50% of the time, and it's just like, it's not reliable, you know? Why would I use a sword if the sword can't kill, like, half the things I want to kill, you know what I mean? So, Icy Spear, I might even just say 1 out of 10. Why would you use Icy Spear? Be honest. Like, you just don't. Alright, next up we have Incinerate, which, um, I believe is, like, the same thing as Fire Bullets, but instead of 25 damage, it's 60, and it costs a lot of Magicka. Um, I think Incinerate is the best of the three, actually. I might have to say, Incinerate can get a nice cozy, uh, 8 out of 10. The thing is, at this stage in the game, like, it really is just, uh, you just want to do damage. It doesn't matter if you can drain Magicka or you can drain Stamina. You're going to be doing so much damage that enemies are going to be dying very quickly to the point that negatively affecting their stats doesn't benefit the combat situation as greatly as it would have towards the mid game you know what i mean you would, i would rather kill an enemy in three seconds than kill an enemy in four seconds but have drained their magicka all right next up is thunderbolt uh 
which is the same as Lightning Bolt, but 60 damage. The thing that's, sa that's sad about Thunderbolt is it does more damage, but it does not have the Chain Lightning effect, which made Chain Lightning so powerful. And it costs way more, 340 magicka, are you fucking joking? Uh, Chain Lightning's actually better in every way than Thunderbolt, which is <laughs> very funny to me. So Thunderbolt, if you use this, you're a bum. Zero out of ten, as a matter of fact. Right. Uh, wall of Flames, Frost, and Storm. Um, I haven't used these too much, but if you spray it on the floor or the ground, it creates a wall of fire that does 50 points of fire damage per second, um, but does not harm you or your NPCs. Um, I have had very little experience with these three, but from my limited experience, um, it's it's not extremely useful. Like, if you- I just feel like- same thing. With- with the- the destruction skill tree, um, I'm not trying to be gimmicky about it, you know, I'm not trying to be, like, like, like if you're being a mage, the gimmicks is by using the, the, the different, um, classes to benefit you, right? The gimmick is in getting, uh, ebony flesh, using the flesh to increase your HP, summoning undead, or re reanimating undead even, with conjuration, using illusion to cause infighting, you know, stuff like that. The gimmick isn't in... I mean, destruction is supposed to be simple. It's supposed to be just the combat, right? This, the, the, I feel like the, you, you don't need these weird gimmicks with the wall of flames or the flame cloak or fire rune, God help me. Um, yeah, I just feel like the wall of- I mean, I'm just- I'm incredibly biased, but the wall of flame, frost, and storm, 1 out of 10. I would not use them ever, right? And for for the master level spells, these three actually suck a lot. <laughs> the master level spells are very hit or miss for me in, in each tree. But let's start off with the worst one, a Blizzard. It creates a blizzard that surrounds the character and targets like 20 points of frost damage every t every second for 10 seconds. Um, plus stamina damage, and it ca it's a it's a massive massive blizzard actually. So it is very good. But the fact that it's only 10 seconds is very damaging to its quality because it takes so long to cast these spells that you can't really cast them when you're in combat because you're going to get killed or, you know, staggered, which would, you know, make you have to reset the cast. So you'd have to use it before you get into combat. Then you, by then, by the time you actually get into combat, you only really have seven or six seconds left on the clock. So it's just like, eh, you know, its usefulness is limited. But it is quite good if you can get it to be good. So 6 out of 10. Firestorm is the fire one. Creates a 100 point fiery explosion surrounding the caster. And the closer the target is, the more damage they take. Same thing that made Blizzard bad is exponentially magnified by Firestorm. Like if an enemy power attacks you or shield bashes you, you reset the... Um, like spell casting, which can take like three or four seconds, right? So, but the fact that you have to be surrounded by several powerful enemies to really get good usage out of it um, makes it very like inconsistent. And I, I, I just I, a zero out of ten. I can't. I would never really think that this is a good spell to use. The last one is actually surprisingly OP. Lightning storm. Fires a continuous stream of lightning, targets take 75 points of shock damage per second to health and half that to magicka. The downside is, you cannot move while you use it. However, the bonus is literally everything. It has an extraordinarily wide range, and yet granted it does take 140 magicka per second, but it's basically like sparks, you know the, the starting spell, sparks. It's basically that, but on steroids. Um, this again, you can use this against a giant, and like you could use you you could use this against three giants, five mammoths, and two dragons, and you absolutely destroy them. It's that powerful, especially if you get um the armor that can like make destruction cost nothing. This is unbelievably powerful. There's nothing that won't die easily to this on any difficulty. So lightning storm nine out of. 10, the fact that you can't move and the fact that you have to really have um you know the the enchanted armor to make it cost nothing the fact that those two things you have to have to make it be good i won't say it's a 10 out of 10 but it's definitely a 9 so thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it make sure you guys do drop a like and a sub um as always become consider becoming a channel member it supports me greatly and uh i wouldn't be able to continue making these videos as i do without you guys support so thank you and peace out